In this first video, we will see the tools necessary to construct this backend using Node, MongoDB as database, the Node as a server, Unity as the front end. So the first tool you need to download is the Node.js, so get inside the Node.js.org. Here you can download the LTS version. Now is 16.15.0, but in your time future, it can be different doesn't matter just choose the LTS one after that I'm using the Visual Studio Code so you need to use two but you can use another as Eclipse or whatever I'm using the Visual Studio Code because I like it and we we'll choose we need to make a free account here in the MongoDB Atlas because it will be our database in the cloud and it's free for, for us to use in the prototype in that good service too. Of course, we will need to use the Unity as a front end. So I, I hope you have already have the Unity in your machine. And by the end, for the first for the first moment, for the first uh, classes, we we'll use the Postman as as to Im to simulate a front end for us because it's much easier than use the Unity in your hard drive create a, a folder, I create a folder called Unity Projects, inside it I will create another folder called Menu Backend Why I'm calling it Menu? Because it's acronym for MongoDB, Express, Node, E and Unity and backend because it's a backend. And I already opened a uh, Visual Studio Code window here and I will drag the my menu backend to the desktop area. And I will open the terminal here. I can use this terminal, new terminal. And in here, as we have the as, we, as you have downloaded the Node.js, so here you just need to use, I'm use the git bash here, so if you can use the git bash is good too, just download it. This is the git bash, so we can download it here. It's very important for us to open the files, so you can download it here too. To make it to work, uh, we write here npm init. This command is just to create a package.json file. This package.json file is very important because all the dependencies of, the, of our project will be inside this file and in the future when we host it in the Heroku, it will, it will be um, tell the Heroku and other machines or other projects where what the kind of uh, dependencies we have in our project you see more of it in, uh, in a moment. Uh, minus yeah, minus y because it will generate a bunch of questions here. But with the y, we are saying yes for about um, for all them, and some will be you will be empty. Yes, but we can fill it it here well, as we want. But I will not do it. In here we. You have all the dependencies, the name of the project, the version, the description, the main file that we don't have yet. So let's create this main file. It's called index.js, but we can, you can change the name here, but I will stick with the index. So I can come here and create index.js. This will be the file that will bootstrap our, um, our project in the cloud and here in, this, uh, in the local server. Now we need to use uh, to download some packages. Use the npm. The npm comes with the node. So if you download the node, you use the npm. On, and the npm, uh, we can have several packages important for developing the, the server. So you can use the npm e the install and express. Express. Uh, is a library that he facilitates our, our life when creating code to handle the server, the node server. Mm. 
Mongoose. Mongoose is another library that, that is very important when we use the MongoDB Atlas because we can it facilitates our life, uh, generate uh, several methods that facilitates our life when treating the data inside the MongoDB. No daemon is a package is very important because each change that we made inside the index file, JS file, uh, without this package, with this package, the, in the, the server will restart every time we make a change inside the index file. You see that too in the console. And .env, this package is, even, is very important because we will create a .env uh, file in this side, this, and inside this .env file we, we use the all, we will, call, we will put all the variables that are very important to our project but cannot be accessed by other people because our, our project will be inside a GitHub repository. So if you let this, this important variable inside that, it will be uh, fragile for our project. So we cannot let this. So we create a .env file we, and that package is allow this. So press enter. Observe here. All the dependencies will be created automatically inside the package JSON. So as I told you, this package is very important. Here you can see all the dependencies I, we have right now. And, uh, and the NPM automatically creates a node modules uh, folder. Inside this folder <laughs> has a lot of uh, all the folders. We don't need to care about it because these folders are just dependencies of that of the dependencies of we have in our project so has a lot of the dependencies sub dependencies but we do not touch on this i can close my package json right now and we can start to generate our first server <coughs> to do so we use we we call Express that help us to create the server using some useful functions. Using the require in JavaScript, we can use or not semicolon. And here we can use the Express. In JavaScript, we can use the single quote or double quote, doesn't matter. Now we need to create an app. This is variable uh, will hold the express for us. This app will use the listen function. Inside this listens function, we need to use a port number. These listen functions uh, will be will be called by the Node.js all the time to listen any changes in the server. So we need to form, uh, to pass a port here. We do not create this variable, and we need to have a function here. This is a arrow function that don't, doesn't have a name. We have three ways to write functions inside uh, JavaScript. The first one is this. We have this one when we create a const variable, call it my func and create function here and close and the last one is the arrow function again we can call it const my func equals to so these three ways of making our functions is valid inside the uh, javascript and we use all the, the three of them 
some are using in some cases some are using another case uh, with the practice you get when you to use each one for example when we have a function like that when we are calling it here as a callback so you uh, some people used to use the uh, arrow function and some use like this some lose like that I prefer to use as a arrow function most of the cases so get used to it and let me create a constant a constant called port this is process point env point port or 3000 so that line means that we are running our uh, server in the 3000 port in, when we are local host that we are now and when we uh, submit it to the Heroku we deploy it to the, the Heroku uh, the Heroku has his, its own port so this line tells the Heroku to use tells the server to use the port of the Heroku using this variable here so there is a port variable inside the Heroku's uh, uh, server and here we can use our console log to log something for us to know that it is working and we can pass, pass the port here let's use the no daemon here no daemon and index that is the name of the file dot, uh, dot js and here the message is appearing so the server is listening on port 3000 so the, our simple server is running right now we can create a root so we can see it inside the, the, the browse so I can put it here as app dot get what is what get means is we are creating a route a route this route will call be as that that is slash here that means the home page the local host and 3000 so when we get to the local host we we will go uh, get something that is inside this function so past this we create another error function so get use it to it we can use here a debug.log and call the uh, inside the local host for example let's save observe that each time I make a change here so let me put a semicolon and press save the server restarts this is because the no demo if we do the, don't do this we need to do it manually as we did here in the first line so no demo is very good for us let me remove go to your browse and screen write local host three thousand and press enter we come back here to the application and here in the console we, we are inside the local host yes we did it congratulations you have made your first server this is the first step for us to create our back end to our game in unity as a front end so stay tuned for more and give a like to the channel subscribe subscribe to the channel to get updated to the next videos so cheers i see you later